Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin that plays a crucial role in various aspects of human health. There are two main types of vitamin D. Vitamin D2 also known as ergocalciferol and vitamin D3 which is known as cholecalciferol. Vitamin D3 synthesizes in the skin in response to sunlight exposure while vitamin D2 can be obtained from certain foods and supplements. Vitamin D synthesis and metabolism are essential processes in the body for maintaining bone health and overall well-being. I will try to break down this complex process into simple words and make it easy for you. So in first step, the primary source of vitamin D is sunlight. When your skin is exposed to ultraviolet B rays from the sun, a precursor molecule that is present in the skin epidermis called 7-dehydrocholesterol get converted into cholecalciferol, which is also known as vitamin D3, and it gets released into the blood. Cholecalciferol is also ingested from foods such as fish. Plant sources of vitamin D such as mushrooms contain ergocalciferol. In second step from the blood cholecalciferol in also, ergocalciferol gets transferred to liver. Once in blood, it is bound to vitamin D binding protein and then transported to liver. In the liver, an enzyme 25-hydroxylase converts cholecalciferol and ergocalciferol to 25-hydroxycholecalciferol, which is also known as calcifidoil. This enzyme adds a hydrogen molecule to the 25th carbon atom of cholecalciferol Excess of non-hydroxylases, vitamin D is stored in the liver, adipose tissue and muscle. And finally, in last step, from the liver, the 25-hydroxy called calciferol is transferred to kidney. In the kidney, an enzyme called 1-alpha-hydroxylase converts 25-hydroxy calciferol to 1-25-dihydroxy calciferol. This enzyme adds another hydrogen molecule to the first carbon atom. This is also called calcitiroid. This is the activated form of vitamin D. Calcitriol acts on the intestines to enhance calcium absorption and on the bones to stimulate calcium release when needed. It also helps maintain calcium and phosphate levels in the blood within a narrow range. Vitamin D also has non-skeletal functions such as supporting the immune system, regulating cell growth and modulating inflammation. Excess vitamin D is typically excreted in the urine. However, excessive vitamin D intake can lead to toxicity which can result in harmful effects on health. It is important to maintain an adequate level of vitamin D for overall health, particularly for bone health. However, too much or too little vitamin D can have adverse effects. Consult with a healthcare professional for guidance on vitamin D intake and supplementation, especially if you have specific health concerns or conditions. So dear viewers, that was all about vitamin D synthesis and metabolism and I really hope that this video was informative for you and we have given the links to our different social media accounts in the description below go and follow us there as well for more informative stuff only on pharmacy d by awesome thank you so much